The Marcellus shale industry booming, and the push continues trying to share more of the natural gas resources for use here in Pennsylvania. But a major obstacle remains in the existing gas pipeline network. And for more on that, Gary Sanderson is in the Center County Newsroom tonight. Gary. Hey, Marty and Marcellus gas experts tell us there's enough natural gas, a resource to last for decades. And we're sitting literally right on top of it here in Pennsylvania. But a lot of that resource is being shipped out of Pennsylvania, certainly shipped out of our region. That's why work continues on trying to interconnect more of our communities with the gas wells. Most of Pennsylvania's natural gas business is not in the central part of the state. I, I hear all kinds of things. Um, I hear that there's so much growth in the northeast and the southwest, and there's so the volume of gas coming out of those wells is so great that they're going to explore and, um, and build out the production in those areas. Um, we also in Center County lack the pipeline infrastructure um, to have all of our wells into production. Interconnect, it's a key concept in transferring the natural gas. In Center County, there's more than 60 well sites, but only about a third of them are totally active due to a lack of connections. More interconnects could also provide more gas lines to area communities. In Center County, a new interconnect line is on the drawing board for the snowshoe area. Uh, proposed this year is the construction of a uh, approximately eight miles of pipeline that will connect from the snowshoe area north of Interstate 80 out to the Texas Eastern Pipeline. Texas Eastern is one of the three large pipelines that cross the county. Despite the push to convert more vehicles and other power options to natural gas, a lack of fueling stations is often cited. So. We're hoping that uh, once we start to get a number of vehicles converted to compressed natural gas, we'll start to see more fueling stations come online. Center County is working with several neighboring counties in a regional approach and using grant money to convert more vehicles to natural gas power. So work continues on developing the infrastructure and interconnects with the natural gas lines. By the way, that new line proposed for the snowshoe area is still in the planning stage. There's no construction timetable as of yet. Live in Center County, Gary Sanderson, 6 News.